Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Reconnection. Welcome to my channel. Men, what's their part in all of this? Because there's a lot of misinformation about out there about what the DM does. A lot of it's about what the DM isn't doing. Like, when are they going to get it? You can look in any forum, and believe me, I try not to like to see because I know a lot of really good men in my life and I want to encourage people, please don't be three-dimensional about this. You can't just go by the surface. Number one, one of the things that uh, you need to be aware of is that men and masculine energy are interrelated, but they are not always equatable. Not only that, masculine energy belongs to females. Everyone has a particular blend inside them, and hence this is why we have people along the spectrum of sexuality, you know, where some people feel very, very, very on one end of hetero, and other people feel very, very, very on the end, other end of maybe feeling um, non-binary or something, you know, the non-binary is in the middle. What the masculine energy does is it holds you steady, keeps you stable. And this is why some people have this inner drive to just find a man one way or another. They just want to find a man. But they're not always looking in the right places. They're not always looking for their man. They're not always focusing inwardly for that outer connection. And it's more than just focus. It takes the brand new light body in order to make those connections expand and reach the person who it is. Not even who, you know, is out of a group of souls, the pool of soulmates to select from that's been in the old paradigm. In the new level, your soul is much more selective because that old level where masculine energy provided a lot of the oomph, the electric part, to create people, civilizations, tribes, cities, buildings, you know, there's a lot of creative energy between the magnetic feminine, which is a majority of female initial energy. In other words, when you first awaken, many females are actually the magnetic and they're their heart's like a cup and their back's like a cup and they get backstabbed and they take it, take it, take it. And it's brought them down. Now we want to not only reverse the flow, but help them get the proper masculine energy in to boost them, shift them, move them where they need to be and who they need to be with that is suitable for them. Even if it's a stepping stone soulmate, not a catalyst, but someone who uh, provides some true stability. And some people who have been abusive situations, that's how it'll be for them. The other thing to be aware of is that masculine energy isn't just floating out there. It is a constructive and yes, dismantling. I don't want to use the word destructive. Okay. Sometimes Throughout history, it can seem destructive, but we have to view it as we are dismantling some of that right now, okay? This is why some of the, you know, men get bad press. Are there toxic masculines? Yes, as much as there are toxic feminines, absolutely. There are female narcissists. There are females who love bomb people, okay? It happens on both sides of the gender equation. And it happens in LGBT communities where those are just the dynamics that are prominent here in this old paradigm. The other thing is that masculine energy is life supporting energy and, you know, people can feel it ebb away. This is why when people break up or they have a breakup or even if they break up with what turns out to be a false twin or a catalyst person, they break up, but it, feel, they, it can make them feel like they've been cast adrift, rejected. It hurts. The only part it's really hurting is the ego subtle body, but it still hurts. There's a couple other parts too, but that's the most prominent one. It hurts. 
it's very uh, destabilizing. Why? Because that person was standing and then it's like the rug got pulled out. They got told off. They got abandoned. They got rejected. They got uh, ghosted, disappeared. It hurts. Now we are here to not only unplug that hurt, unplug where it has happened again and again and again and again, where that is not your pattern. And your pattern is that you're attracting things, especially if you love a man. If who you feel you're intended to be with, I don't care where you are on the spectrum of sexuality, if it's a man, you're going to know, just like you have that inner knowing, you just instinctively, intuitively know it's a man. There's nothing wishy-washy about it. Please, people, do not be wishy-washy about what, you know, some of the things that you have to be certain of. Men, we are bringing them up. We are also awakening them. How do you awaken them from the inside out? So this is what we do. This is actually what we do in sessions and in groups. It helps them, them wherever they are, to not be destabilized, to continue holding steady for you while they're gradually pulling themselves out of whatever else and whoever else that they've had to stabilize. This is particularly true of married men. Do you love someone and it looks like that they're in a relationship or are you in a relationship and it's starting to nag at you and you're saying, you know what? It's feeling like the man I'm with actually belongs to someone else. That's how it felt for me. I was like, I can't keep this person. They feel like they belong to someone else. I didn't know how to do it, but I was guided to do it. And I've incorporated that guidance in helping people to do this, to do it by being who you are and to do it through the light body, to do it by unplugging parts of the old paradigm from your light body and integrating the new connections you need so that it's a seamlessly going from this old level to a new level and that in between space where you can feel very uncertain, very cast adrift, very abandoned, or I think cast adrift is sometimes the um, most prominent feeling is that somehow you're just drifting along. You're not certain if this is going to happen. You're not certain where's your man or where, who, what, where is the man that's going to come along to do this with you. It has to start ahead of time. And this is part of the reason why this can seem to take so long. However, however, the quantum healing that we do with your twin flame light body, your twin flame body helps you make those quantum leaps. And we teach you, which em that empowers you, and we get you moving in what you need to do. We guide you. I give you written instructions and guidelines and I follow up with you. Following up is important. And if, you know, this is also applicable to LGBTQ people because those dynamics happen. You may not know who or why. I have found that, you know, when it comes to men, they can be very lovely when they are uplifted. I'm going to explain something that I shared this in my webinar, but I want to share it with you. Years ago, um, my guides, and they are so good because they will do things to the point of absurdity where you're going like, really? And then they're like, okay, let's be sensible. They gave me an image of the ocean and they said, you know, look down at the bottom part of the ocean. What's there? And I was seeing, you know, these sea creatures, like especially the anglerfish that has like the little light in front and it has the gruesome teeth and, and they just look fierce and gruesome and predatory and they're not pretty. But in their own environment, they're very functional. They can eat, they, you know, they can do things. And then my guide said to me, now let's go up towards closer to the surface of the ocean. And suddenly I was in like this tropical coral reef. 
beautiful colored fish and dolphins and stingrays, very graceful creatures, just frolicking. Okay, the somehow that that dire pressure, that density, that demands like this ugliness wasn't there at the upper surface level. And they said, that's the men when they don't have the density. They're like beautiful creations. They're as beautiful as a dolphin by comparison to an angler fish. Okay. Yes, it's a work in progress. But which would you rather have? The beauty and the lightness and the not density and the things that actually you feel belong to you as a human angelic lover who's here to do this for true proper togetherness or continue living in the density and surviving and deal with the predatory stuff. <sharp inhale> okay, so this was a beautiful imagery that uh, and, and vision, vision that my guides gave me to help explain this, that when you're going from a lower level, that's how things are. It can be a little ugly. It can be a little rejecty. It can be a little bit dualistic. It can be narcissistic, right? Up here, it's a lot lighter and more beautiful. Let's get you up here, shall we? So, yes, the men are here to do this. Let's use the masculine energy properly to stabilize you, balance you, and make you feel loved. TwinFlameRingConnection.com. Check us out. Bye.